In this video, we are going to install K Transformer on our local system, and I'm going to show you how you can run large models on your consumer hardware, which means that huge models like DeepSeek or Llamas or similar models. Now, with the help of K Transformers, you can run them easily on your consumer GPU with a lesser VRAM. K Transformers is an optimized framework designed to make large language models like DeepSeq V2 run efficiently on consumer hardware with limited GPU memory. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Before I show you the installation and how to configure this uh, K Transformer to run on your local GPU, let's talk a bit about this project because I think that unless we understand what is happening, I don't think so it would make much sense to show you the hands-on demo. So let's first try to understand this project. The thing is that the original transformer implementation is amazing, no doubt about that. But it requires massive resources like, for example, 8 80 GP GPUs for DeepSeq V2. Whereas K Transformers enables us to run the same uh, large model on a desktop with just 21 to 24 GP of VRAM. And if you have 136 GP RAM, then you are very much good to go to run these huge models. So focus on this point that yes, you would uh, be running this on a lesser VRAM, but still you need massive amount of RAM. This framework K transformer differs from standard transformers in three major ways. First, it implements an optimized multi-head latent attention or MLA operator that keeps key value pairs in compressed form during inference that reduces memory usage compared to the original implementation which decompresses and caches these pairs. Second, it uses advanced quantization kernels like Marlin for GPU operations and Llama file for CPU operations that work directly with quantized data types. That avoids the computational overhead of dequantization that standard implementations require. Third, it uses intelligent workload distribution based on arithmetic intensity Computationally heavy operations like attention stay on the GPU, while lighter operations like mixture of expert computations move to the CPU. The speed improvement come from maximizing hardware utilization through strategic placement of operations. The MLA operator achieves high arithmetic intensity by keeping compressed representation and gets priority GPU placement to use tensor cores. Meanwhile, mixture of expert operations which only activate 6 out of 160 experts per token and have low arithmetic intensity, they run efficiently on CPU using specialized kernels and that is what the whole magic is and this design allows K transformers to maintain competitive performance while making these sort of large models accessible on consumer hardware. So hopefully now you understand what is happening. Let's try to get this thing installed. This is where I am using my Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. You can see that I already have this K transformer um, virtual environment ready, which just means that you can create it very simply by running this simple command to create like this and I already have run this just to save bit of our time. You can use UV or any Python virtual environment. And by the way, if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable prices, you can find the link of mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now, one of the prerequisites in order to install is that you should have a latest version of CMake running. I don't think so. I have the latest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install a new one. I'm just going to upgrade it with the help of these commands. And this is going to take a few seconds. So let's wait for it. And while it runs, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as A-B tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you can find their link in video's description. 
and the CMake is now upgraded, we also have to install all of these system libraries which are required by K-Transformers. And as I'm using NVIDIA's GPU, I already have my CUDA drivers and CUDA installed. Uh, so I'm just going to set up my paths to my local CUDA. If you don't know how to install CUDA, just search my channel. It's a very, very simple uh, command to install CUDA toolkit. Next step is to install PyTorch and Flash Attention. So let me run this. This is going to take various minutes. Okay, so all of this is done. Next step, you would need to git clone the repo of this K transformer and then uh, run the install script from the root of the repo. So let me run that install script and that is going to take a few minutes. So let's wait for it. And K transformer has eventually installed successfully. And you can test installation by running this simple command, which is going to show you the version of K transformer. And as we need to download the model, so let's first install the Hugging Face Hub library, which is already installed. And then let's log into the Hugging Face. For that, you would need a read token, which you can grab from your Hugging Face profile. I already have that. So let me log in quickly here. And there you go. I am now logged in and now we can download our model. And if you want, you can even simply test with a smallish model like any version of Quant. So for example, you can see that I am importing that transformer and I very easily quickly was able to test our Quant 2.5 model just in 0.5 billion with its tokenizer. And remember, we have just installed K transformer, but not the transformer but it is still working pretty fine and if you want to test it out from the code all you need to do is to simply import it again like this and then i'm just printing it out i'm loading my model and then i'm testing out the simple encoding with the tokenizer we are passing it to the model and then printing out the response so if i run this code from the local host it is going to load the model and it has done all the tests that everything is available this is my nvidia gpu and um, these are the shape of the encoding text and this is the model with k transformer and if you want to do the inference test with k transformer you can simply again load the tokenizer just use it just uh, as you would use the transformers library i am passing it the prompt and then tokenizer is encoding it model is is generating the output we are decoding it back and printing the response of this prompt something like this so let me run this this is just a simple inference test with k transformers library let's wait for it there you go L looks really good now we have tested that K transformer works fine. Now let's try to use it with our actual use case to install and run huge models locally. For that, let's create a new directory. Let me call it maybe more models. And then this is where we are going to download the big model. For that, I'm just going to go with this DeepSeq V3 in context format. Even in context format, it has a lot of shards as you can see. There are nine shards of it and they are all quite big. So let's download this. As we are already logged into the hugging face, I'm just going to use the CLI command in order to download this model. All the shards are being downloaded. It's a huge model. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. Unfortunately, I got this error around no space left on device. So I would have to move, move to a bigger VM. Um, so let me move there. Okay, so I'm downloading it again. And this time, hopefully this will be fine. So let's wait. And the model is now downloaded. Let's check the space on this. So it is close to 400 gig of size. And we just have this GPU, which in my case at the moment is now because I had to upgrade to the VM, it is now 
H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. And now it is installed. Let's test the inference with the DeepSeq model. So I'm just going to run this local chat script from K Transformer, and I'm specifying the directory where the model is. And now what it is going to do, it is just going to load the model onto my GPU and CPU, of course. So what I will also do, I'm just going to show you the VRAM consumption in real time. So you see at the moment there is nothing on the VRAM here. And just keep an eye on how exactly it loads all the layers of the model. And then you will see that it will start um, creeping up. There you go. So now it is injecting the model. It has hovering around 18506, but it is going to start offloading things to CPU and GPU. You see, it has now started lo loading embedding tokens and all that stuff onto the CUDA device. This is a GPU and GPU is now increasing. Now shortly, it should also start doing the offload to the CPU. So I will let it run and this is going to be slow, of course. So don't expect lightning fast or any even decent uh, performance with CPU. But this is just for the testing. This primary, primarily is enabling you to run these huge models on your commodity hardware. It's been a couple of minutes and it is still loading the layers onto my GPU device. And it's been around eight to 10 minutes and it is still loading. Now you can see that 35 layers have been loaded to the GPU and now it is just under 10 gig of VRAM. Let's see. And there you go, it has loaded the full model. Around 64 layers, I would say it took 15 minutes to load, but now we can chat with it. But more importantly, you can see it is just consuming 11 gig of VRAM. Anyway, let's try it out. I'm just going to say hi first. And it has given me, okay, it says that I need to install this Jinja, which I will now quickly install and then reload it, which will again take 15 minutes. But anyway, such is life. And I'm just going to upgrade this Ninja here by using this pip. And that is all done. Okay, let's run it again. And this is loading the layers again. And I know that this video is not that edited and it has gone a bit longer, but I really wanted to show you this raw implementation of K-Transformers because it's not really that straightforward. You have to um, be ready and patient for a lot of uh, frustrations as you just saw. And trust me, I have spent around seven hours just to get it installed. And you can see that I already have spent humongous amount of time anyway. Now, I just wanted to uh, also brief you around these layers which are being downloaded. So these are the individual components of this model which are being loaded onto our GPU memory. So you see, um, for example, if you look at, let's say, layer 23. So each of um, these model dot layer dot X, like 23, 22 or whatever, they represent one transformer block in this deep seq v3 model and for example in each one of there is uh, there is a qa um, a, a layer which is a layer normalization for the qd projection in the multi latent attention mechanism and then the kv then we have this kva this kva is a layer normalization for the key value projection in mla and then we have KVB, which is the second projection layer for key value computation. And then you can see that we have then layer normalization components like layer norm weight, where, we, uh, where the normalization is being applied to input before the attention mechanism. And then we have this normalization, which has been applied after attention, but before the feed forward network. So these are all the layers which I wanted to um, just show you anyway let's wait for it to load all the layers there are around 60 64 layers and then we will chat with it almost there now and model is loaded again and you can see that again it's the same sort of gpu 
VRAM consumption just over 11 gig. Let's chat with it. And it is now responding, but you can see that the speed is quite slow and also have a look at this VRAM consumption. And I'm just showing you without any editing. I know this, uh, the video is getting long, but I just want to show you the generation in real time. So the token per second is really, really horrible, I would say. But at least you see it is working just so you can even run it in, uh, you know, under 12 gig of VRAM easy, as you can see from the consumption, the big deep seek V3 model. There you go. And it has given us some of the stats too. So four tokens per second, that's it. And some other uh, stuff. So maybe I'll just ask this one more and then I'll call it a day. So I'm asking it, what is happiness? And then let's see what it does here. You can already tell that it is going to take a long time. And there you go. So it is producing the answer and as usual, very, very slow, but at least now we know that we can run this humongous models on just under 12 gig of VRAM. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for all the support.